There's a fellow one. <laughs> Ellie Schrader here. KTM. Illegal, of course. Alright, let's go. I had to stop and switch the battery man because this road seems to be really really nice let's check it out oh yeah I hope we don't find a lot of those patches oh shit there's Kamugo If I focus on the road, I cannot focus on the on the landscape. <laughs> that is also nice. Damn. I guess I will check the videos later on, right? Guys, sorry for the wind noise, but it's impossible, impossible to have the visor closed. It's too hot, man. Ah, look at this, man. Really beautiful. The road on the valley. Right one. Ah, really nice man. The design of the road. the house is really close to the road so if you are in a little bit of a speed and somebody is coming out of the house with a direct entrance to the main road well you can have uh, a few surprises in the middle of the turn and that can be scary man like this this is in a straight line but you find if you find a house with the entrance in the middle of a turn that can be a little bit... How you say it? Uh, no, I forgot the name. Scary? It's not scary, the name that I'm looking for. Sketchy. Uh, well, we are also doing a little bit more than the normal speed inside the village. <laughs> Speed bomb! Oh, this is it? Alright! A lot of white powder over here. We hope it's not cocaine. <laughs> or speed. Oh, nice! Let's stop over here in the shadow. All right, let's check this out. Mm. So Portugal has a lot of places like this one because we do produce a lot of salt in this country, a lot. But they they build this here in the middle of the mountain. 
normally this stuff is near the sea, near the coast. You can see it, for instance, in Aveiro. But this is really strange because it's near the mountain. There's no sea around here. So how, how the hell do they bring the, the salty water to make the salt here? It's really fun. It's really fun. Look at that. So they just spread the water here. They wait till the water evaporates. Yeah, and then they pick the salt from it. Pretty amazing, huh? Yep, welcome to Portugal. Chato. All right, guys. We check the salty springs, yeah? How you call it? Salty salty springs. And now we we're just going to check this traditional wood shops <laughs> store. Look at this. Pretty nice, right? This is all about handmade uh, things. Restaurants and bars and Salarium? What the hell? What do they pay? Salarium? They serve salarium salariums as a meal? Alright. Yeah, it's a funny funny thing. These handmade wood cabins as stores and shops. Pretty funny, right? This looks like a hobbit village. Yeah, handmade traditional artifacts and uh, and things. Pretty cool. Yeah, you see, they spread the salt all over the place till it gets dry, completely dry. Pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. All right. Let's move forward. All right, peeps. Oh shit. That's a red one. Oh, no it's not. It's green. <laughs> okay, we managed to find another road. That seems pretty twisty. Till our destination point. In near Pnish. So let's check this road out. Sometimes I forget that the bike is fully loaded, so it's the suspension is already lower and when I do this kind of twisty roads, if, if the asphalt is not regular, the bike starts jumping a little bit in the turns and then it, it scratches the foot pegs. When I'm riding alone, that's not a problem, but, <coughs> sorry. But with two persons in the bike and fully loaded, yeah, it can be a little bit scary. Especially for Elish Kitty. <laughs> Woo, 
that's so nice. Nice roof. Ah, oh, come on, man. Green, 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 green. Okay, thanks. It was green, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It's green all over the place, so. You see, it's green. Ooh, we need to go back. Yeah, my bad. I was not looking to the GPS.